The human body is one of nature's engineering marvels. Our species came from several million years of adaptation and selection, put to work by the vast changes our planet has experienced over that time period. In fact, we have arrived to the point that we ourselves could potentially break the clock of evolution in order to transcend our very existence. Here are the top 10 ways humans are currently being engineered. Amazing. Number 10. CRISPR About a decade ago, scientists discovered a naturally occurring agent present among all living things, something special within our bodies that is capable of processing DNA as if it is some kind of digital data. The name of that agent is CRISPR, which stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. It's essentially a cellular component of a body's immune system. Its role is to map out strands of genetic code and identify them to be taken out or copied by any cell that needs it. With that description alone, you might already have a good idea as to what it can do. Basically, when used correctly and efficiently as a genetic engineering tool, CRISPR can literally rewrite DNA. For example, vulnerabilities for certain genetic disorders can be erased. Resistances to diseases can be learned. So in the future, getting rid of dangerous diseases like cancer could potentially just mean getting a few injections of your own cells that have been engineered in a lab to heal you. Even certain physical traits, like greater height or a faster metabolism, can be potentially achieved with CRISPR. So if it can achieve amazing things, why is CRISPR not widely used yet? Research and Ethics We need to expand our knowledge of its effects and ethically. It's also very controversial. In other words, it's something that we still need to learn a lot from and talk more about. Number 9. Designer Baby Simulator The free manipulation of genes in future childbirths has been one of the known endgames for human biological engineering. Even today in 2018, it's still the stuff of science fiction. But we're getting very close all thanks to the aforementioned CRISPR. But a rather older medical technique, in vitro fertilization, which is the fertilization of an egg cell outside the mother's body, can be combined with CRISPR. This allows both the choice of genes plus the tailoring of DNA to make the perfect physiological choices for your future child. Unfortunately, this brings us yet again to CRISPR's current limitation. We just haven't mastered its use just yet. While the selection of genes from both parents is a straightforward affair, accurately slicing off that DNA strand to prevent a potential brain tumor in the future is still a bit too complicated. So for now, before we can make designer babies, we'll have to prioritize first the development of more genetic engineering technologies. At the very least though, we now have opened the doors to the possibility of eradicating birth defects with this knowledge. Whether we should then allow people to modify their offspring to get an advantage in life is still open to discussion. What do you think? Number 8. Three Parent Babies If in vitro fertilization plus CRISPR isn't your preferred type of natural gene splicing, then perhaps getting your kid to have three parents might just give that needed zing to your family's gene pool. Wait, three parents? That's right, it's possible to fertilize and develop an egg using the DNA of three people. There are several techniques, but it mainly involves the manipulation of mitochondria, which has its own DNA, in order for an egg cell to carry additional genetic information before being fertilized. If the embryo successfully forms, the resulting child will have the genetic information of two persons, plus another one passively. In other words, most three-parent babies would always have two mothers and a father. The benefit of this genetic technique isn't to directly add genetic information, but instead to prevent undesired developments that come from mitochondrial DNA. The best example would be Lee syndrome, which directly affects a developing baby's nervous system, for which the genes that determine its occurrence reside in mitochondrial DNA. So if you're interested in having a genetic threesome with your biologically engineered baby, then it's most likely because you want to prevent something rather than add something to your future child. Number 7. Techniques to Eliminate Hereditary Diseases Touching more on the discussion of undesirable future illnesses, there are also other methods of human biological engineering that tackle this problem, other than what we have already mentioned. One method is by flooding the body with corrective genes. Gene therapy, as it is officially called, attempts to deliver parts of DNA or RNA in order to correct a pre-existing physiological limitation or defect. In November of last year, a critical patient in Oakland, California was subjected to a modified version of this procedure. Within his body, 
doctors injected billions of copies of a corrective gene, along with a zinc finger protein, a pre-modified tool that was used to cut out the DNA needed to be replaced. As of now, we don't know the results of the operation, but if the procedure worked, it will cure his Hunter syndrome, a rare lifetime metabolic disease that prevents the liver from breaking down and metabolizing certain carbohydrates. Of course, the tried and tested method of vaccination also greatly helped in completely eradicating diseases genetically. Today, we are the inheritors of genes from people who were vaccinated from the dreaded smallpox ever since the vaccine's discovery in 1796. Once almost wiping out the Native American population, smallpox today is just a memory of the past, all thanks to our resistance being passed over to succeeding generations. Number 6 making living tattoos. If you want a simpler method of human engineering, perhaps you might be interested in tattoos. No, not by actually modifying your skin cells with painful pricks, but instead via biological means. In other words, using living cells to paint your body. Engineers at MIT last year developed a special transparent film with a 3D printed tattoo design. The pattern is made up of bacterial cells that are themselves genetically programmed to react to specific compounds. Together with certain nutrients and hydrogel, it formed a visible colored patch on the film. This patched film was then applied directly to the body, where it can be used as a type of organic sensor. To give you an idea of how it works, if the cells are treated to react to toxic gases, for example, it will detect its presence in the air and alert the person by lighting up. This can even extend inside your body, where an advanced, embedded form of the film patch could be applied to instantly detect chemicals in the body. Advanced living tattoos like this could be very helpful if you're suffering from diabetes. You could simply look at your cool tattoo to let you know when your next insulin shot is imminent. Number 5. Manufacturing Organs Human engineering could one day be as easy as replacing car parts or modifying your PC. No need to wait forever for a donor to provide an organ that might be rejected by the body later. Instead, a spare internal organ can be produced, either grown from a lab or grown from a lab-grown clone. The current known method of doing this is by farming stem cells from the recipient's body. Since stem cells start off without a defined functional identity, they can be grown and multiplied to build tissues via 3D printing. These tissues would then be subjected to various stresses in order to transform them into the necessary part of the organ. At least in theory. This is because despite the simplicity of the concept, implementation today is still extremely difficult. Every tissue of every muscle functions differently as part of its whole, and thus each cell should be trained to do its specific job, not just form entire tissues. Then there's also speed of production, which is nowhere as fast as it should ideally be. But in the future, when more efficient production methods are discovered, organ manufacture may be one of the most game-changing technologies that will take humans significantly closer to immortality. Number 4. HeLa Cells While organ manufacturing and the in vitro meat concepts are generally struggling due to low and limited growth rates of cells for such purposes today, there is one type of cell that is actually optimized to just keep on multiplying forever. HeLa cells are special human cells that are capable of dividing and reproducing by themselves forever. HeLa cells are named after Henrietta Lacks, the maker of the cells when they were first taken in 1951. These cells were actually harvested from a piece of cancerous tumor from her body, which exhibited unlimited cycles of cell division, hence why it is literally immortal. It was naturally engineered by her body, somehow mutating her cervical cancer cells to the form that it eventually became. Today, HeLa cells are very important in the field of medical research. With HeLa cells, tests can be conducted on a repeated, consistent basis, a boon for every academic medical experiment. It would simply replace back any used cell for any kind of research. A wide variety of different experiments can be conducted without worrying about the initial compatibility of the test or the exhaustibility of test subjects. Perhaps one day, we could even make new types of HeLa cells, but for now, this is the safest human test subject that we could ever have. Number 3. Animal Organ Transplants Yes, this may sound even freakier than HeLa cells, but we're not actually referring to a real-life Frankenstein made of animal internal organs. Specifically, this discipline and area of research refers to the use of tissues and cells from animals in order to replace lost components of organs. Pigs, out of all animals, are actually one of the best candidates for this type of transplant procedure. Firstly, a pig's internal organs pretty much work in the same physiological way as its human counterpart. Secondly, its organ sizes are proportional to that of a human. This makes pig's organs a great candidate, 
as human organs are typically hard to come by. But how do animal organ transplants work? By first washing the replacement tissue of active cells to remove anything that would trigger the human immune system to reject it. The organ would then be transplanted directly to replace whatever is lost, like for example, a heart valve. Animal organ transplants are actually less risky than standard human organ transplant procedures. This is because it is much less likely that the organ will be rejected by the recipient's immune system. In fact, there are even modified procedures that would further trick the body into accepting the organ by lining the tissue with the recipient's cells. But if you think that's a strange thought, listen up, because it gets weirder. In January of 2017, scientists successfully created a human-pig hybrid. Although it sounds like the beginning of the film Bullets of Justice, where humans with pig faces might be brought to life, the objectives of this research may be revolutionary. The aim is to develop a pig with selected, fully transplantable human organs. They created what's known scientifically as a chimera, an organism that contains cells from two different species. The project proved that human cells could be introduced into non-human organisms, survive, and even grow in a host animal like pigs. Now we just have to come to terms with the idea of people running on a pig's heart. Number two, cow-human hybrid. No, we're not about to engineer human genes to create a real-life minotaur. In 2015, researchers started producing cattle that are genetically modified with human DNA. The genetic procedure made it so that these cows, when vaccinated for certain diseases, would produce the corresponding antibodies that are compatible for human infusion. Viral illnesses such as Ebola could then be cured using the modified antibodies. The impetus for the project is the fact that cows typically produce huge amounts of blood plasma, several gallons more than what a normal human would typically provide. Researchers hope to harvest the cattle's blood plasma to treat people with particular viruses. An abundance in supply for this kind of medicine could mean that treatment can get cheaper and could therefore reach a wider number of patients. The other side of this endeavor is the reverse, using cow genetic material to manufacture human stem cells. The reasoning is pretty much the same. Human genetic material is in short supply. However, unlike the beneficial use of the previous procedure, many organizations around the world are ethically against using animal genetic material for such purposes, even if it is guaranteed that the resulting stem cells will still be 99.9% .9 human. Before I reveal the most outrageous example in this list, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to Be Amazed. We upload amazing fact-filled videos every day, so don't miss out on learning some amazing new information. Also, hit that bell icon for notifications on more amazing fact-filled videos. Number 1. Head Transplants If this human engineering procedure sounds totally Frankenstein level to you, well, it actually gets much worse. Human head transplants are exactly what it sounds like, taking the head of a person and pretty much sewing it directly, nerves and all, to another person's body. It's a procedure that is designed to give new life to victims of complete paralysis, those who would otherwise be eternally encased in a body they can no longer use. The procedure is considered highly controversial, not just due to the philosophical and ethical issues it brings. Basically, it's just exceedingly complex. Not only are we talking about grafting the head onto a new body, but it also involves reconnecting various tissues of different integrated purposes back, not to mention reconnecting the brain to the rest of the body via the spine. Remember the organ rejection risk we mentioned earlier? Take that risk and put it back several times over. The success rate for such operations using our technology today is astronomically slim and still would not be viable even if the patient in question has nothing to lose. Despite that, however, Italian neuroscientist Sergio Canavero made headlines around the world last 2015, claiming that he plans to do an actual head transplant for volunteer Valery Spiridonov. The procedure is yet to be done, and the ones he did last year were only conducted on corpses, with questionable levels of success. So a living Frankenstein will still be a myth for now. Did you find these breakthroughs hopeful or maybe unsettling? What are your thoughts about these human engineering procedures? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.